Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about an important topic, time saving tool in SOLIDWORKS called the SOLIDWORKS Toolbox. If we go to the add-ins menu, we can notice here we have SOLIDWORKS Toolbox and SOLIDWORKS Toolbox Browser. I'm not going to check them here, but first I'm going to show you how to access them in the library menu if you go to the design library you see here the toolbox and if you click on that here you see the toolbox is not activated so and um, i need to add it so just click on add it now we have added the toolbox and the toolbox is a box in SOLIDWORKS containing all the standard bolts, washer, nuts, and all these common parts that you don't need to draw them all the time you are using SOLIDWORKS. That is very time saving. Also, you can activate the toolbox from the add-ins. Here we notice the toolbox browser is already activated because we just click on add in and here also you can check the solidworks toolbox here in the startup we check these options so these tools will start every time you're starting toolbox and if we uncheck these two so they will be working only in this session okay but one note that the toolbox is not containing all the parts of all the bolts and nuts and so on. They are just containing the basic files which are driven by equations. And each time you create a bolt, for example, you can add these, these values you wanted to your part. That means you have to make the first configuration to your toolbox and specify the folder location to save your created parts from the toolbox. To configure the toolbox folder location, you can go to the option menu here and in the whole wizard toolbox. And here you have the folder name where you going to save the part created by toolbox. You press configure. But I'm going to show an easier place to configure the, the toolbox folder so if I create new part and you notice here the toolbox I click on it and then you have configure so now you'll see this window is open more result you can first and here it shows some description what to do so we go to the second and here you have the standards and then another description and the most important one is the number three which is create part in this folder and here you have the choices and each choice as its description i'm going to choose the create parts and then choose the folder there where I'm going to save the created parts. So here I choose the place of the folder and I create it on the desktop and then I'm going to save this configuration. Now the toolbox is ready to create some parts and save it on that folder. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show how to create these parts. So, see you in the next tutorial.